Voluntary Reaction 2019 edition Tennessee football in crisis. Russell Smith and John Reed with you for a third year of Voluntary Reaction. And John, I mean, it never crossed my mind that we'd really seriously be sitting here discussing a loss. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, the question, I think that people are like, are people turning on Jeremy Pruitt like one game into year two? Is that is that what's happening right now? Oh, I don't know, Russell. I don't know. Uh, I, I did not expect uh, Jeremy Pruitt's job security to be the discussion right now. I know. I'm completely unprepared for it. But here we are. And... I mean, you've got, like, uh, David, you, are you recording the podcast, by the way? Okay, good. Just checking. Well, I mean, the one thing that sticks out to me today is just the difference in the sideline energy and the player energy. I mean, these guys are getting paid. It's one of the highest paid staffs in the entire country, and they look bored. <laughs> they look bored out there. And this dude over there, this Sean Elliott guy, this team went, what, 2-10 and 10 last year? This dude's over there pacing the sideline like a madman. He's fired up into it. And our guys just couldn't, like, they don't look like they want to be there. Like, at the very least, we can come out of this saying uh, Sean Elliott now coached Jeremy Pruitt, right? Like, I mean, like, oh. at the very least, like, I mean, pretty significantly, yeah. Out-schemed him, like, yeah. I mean, uh, Tim Priest was talking about on my drive-in how uh, you know, Georgia State was doing something with splitting their tackle out wide and running in a certain gap just over and over and over again, and we never had made an adjustment. I thought Jeremy Sprue was supposed to be a defensive coach. What the hell is this? Like, we're getting pushed around by Georgia State? I don't know what the biggest problem is. Like, I, I don't, you come in talking about you know getting pushed around by Georgia State. I come in looking like man. Um, I know last year we talked a lot about the offensive line, right? Like how yeah. the offensive line you know, kind of uh, crippled. Oh, they've improved. I mean, I thought this guy was supposed to be a defensive coach. I thought he was a secondary guy. I thought Alante Taylor and Nigel Warrior were four-star players. I thought we were supposed to have a decided schematic advantage defensively. What the hell was that shit? I mean, <laughs> like, it, it shouldn't even be surprising, man. I, is it, are you surprised? Am I, am I surprised? Are you surprised? No, I, no, I'm not surprised, Russell. How could anyone be surprised who has watched the last decade of Tennessee football? How could anyone be surprised? I mean, I'm just, like, I'm almost over-talking about it, man. Like, it's stupid. This is stupid. Jeremy Pruitt is stupid. Tennessee football is stupid. We are completely ate up with dumbass. Just ate up with it, man. That game is... You've got... They've got the ball at their own 13-yard line with a minute to go and no timeouts. I mean, it's served up to you on a silver platter. If you can't finish in that situation, you're over your head. You're in over your head. You don't deserve to be an SEC football coach. Anywhere. It's just a complete disgrace, man. It's just a complete disgrace. So now we're going to have about 50,000 fans in the stadium for Chattanooga next week, which that game's not off the table. And we're going to be one and three at best headed into an off week. I mean, it's just like the season is It's not even fun, man. It's not even fun. Nope. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Not, not fun at all. It was fun for LSU and Texas. Good teams that are playing in a game that matters. And, like, even the team that loses is still pretty good and has a lot to play for and all that stuff. We have nothing to play for, man. We don't even have pride to play for because we've long since lost all our pride and dignity. We're just a laughing stock, man. Feels like 88. 
at least in 88, we had, I mean, they turned it around and you won a cha uh, conference championship next year. There was reason to hope because like the rest of the conference wasn't what it is now. There's no hope here, man. Like, what are we doing? Okay, you can't fire Pruitt. You can't keep the revolving door going. You got to give him some time. Like, why? I mean, does anybody here think Jeremy Pruitt's going to get it done here? We got a clown coach, dude. No. This guy might be worse than Butch Jones and Derek Dooley. He, he might be the worst guy yet. But this guy is a boob. Just a complete boob.